for joining us on the program. I am BC at Debayo. We continue to follow the massive gridlock experienced by motorists on the Lagos Ibadu Expressway. It's been over 24 hours after the multiple accident that claimed several lives, but the highway is still experiencing traffic jam. Those who left their homes early enough hoping to beat the traffic were disappointed as again, most of them were trapped in the gridlock. Another harrowing day for motorists and passengers on the Lagos Ibado Highway. The struggle to get out of the gridlock has forced some who are trying to catch up with work to resort to trekking. Trust the average motorcyclist who are taking very desperate moves. The traffic is yet to normalize and motorists are asking authorities to work fast on the situation by removing the wreckage of the accident to allow free movement. Like an hour now. I don't know. I'm traveling and I don't know what is causing traffic on the road. Yes, I was supposed to go there yesterday, but I, I, can't, I can't make up. So I need to go at this early morning. Another crime five starts. So I'm getting here now. I made the hold up again. I don't know the cause. But it seems I feel they are maybe because of the... Um, this um, the bridge. Uh, they, they said they are so that they are doing. They are working on the bridge too. Unless something quick is done, it might just become another long day for motorists and other road users on this very busy Lagos Ibadan Expressway. In the meantime, the Federal Road Safety Corps Marshal, Mr. Okpeyemi Boboye, says there is an urgent need for traffic redistribution from the Ibadu Expressway as it has the highest traffic density in the country. The FRSC bus release with about 25 vehicles flying the road daily, rerouting heavy-duty vehicles will make a huge difference. Even before the construction started, there has been a series of traffic alerts by the Honorable Minister by the FRAC and continuously. We witnessed a crash, just a normal a crash around 4.45 hours yesterday, involving a tanker, four, four vehicles involved, four lives were lost, five vehicles, four lives were lost, unfortunately. But uh, there was an explosion, combination of LASEMA, I must commend the Lagos State Government for the equipment they were able to deploy, which is expected anyway. Then the LASMA trays, everybody joined arms. And by evening yesterday, traffic has been returned to normalcy. But all those tankers, trailers that are parked over because of the gridlock started moving. And uh, because the, the, the inbound lane had been shut down for repairs, leaving only one lane, and uh, then that means the one lane reduced to single lanes for all the vehicles to pass. There's bound to be a bandwagon effect. And when those trailers, tankers are moving, there's no way for other vehicles to even attempt to overtake. So this was what we experienced. The, the, the boys worked overnight, and they're still there. And the, now they were caught up again with early morning traffic. What we require now is traffic redistribution. All those trailers to be rerouted so that there can be flow of traffic for smaller vehicles and buses. We have three options for vehicles to take Le uh, Lekki Epen, for another set to take Ikorodu, and the third outlet is to take uh, Abekuta Otter, Songwater Ifo through Abekuta. That, that's the most important thing that is required now to reroute so that all those trucks, tankers, trailers can be rerouted for traffic to stabilize a little bit. And we're moving towards the weekend now. It will remain, but I've deployed all the personnel, all the logistics we have there on the road now. As I was coming, I was getting the situation. There's not been any other crash. It's just the traffic. <laughs> 